Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create animated sketch motion callouts using Wondershare Filmora 10. So you know that uh, when creating online training video or tutorial on my channel, I use a lot of uh, sketch motion callouts. Okay, and for those of you who don't know, uh, don't know about sketch motion callouts, uh, it, they are just uh, rectangular and circles and arrows and and some, some kind of uh, animated lines uh, that you can use for your tutorial video. And on my channel, I use many, many skate motion callouts. Um, by the way, they are, they are in Camtasia, the software that I'm currently using for making video here on YouTube. And in Wondershare Filmora, uh, Filmora 10, it is also very easy to create those kind of um, uh, skate motion callouts. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. And for your information, I also uh, I also put the sa this sample project uh, that I created in Watershed Filmora 10 at the link in the description, so you can just download them and use for your project. Okay, and now I'm on my computer screen. Uh, let's create a new project. Uh, click here to start a new project. So the first sketch motion I want to create is the square box uh, sketch motion uh, and we can create the first one and then we can copy and paste it uh, to create the next one. Okay, so first thing we need to go to title, uh, use the title tab here and then uh, find the plain text here and then you can use any any basic text here. By the way, I'm going to use this one, uh, the basic text number six. So we are going to click this button to bring it to the timeline and the first thing you want to adjust the duration of the uh, of the title box to maybe 3 seconds or 4 seconds uh, is up to you. So we can right click uh, at, the, at the box and select duration. Now we can change it to yeah, 3 seconds. Uh, it's just my opinion. Okay and then click OK. Now we need to go to the advanced text editor. Okay, just right click and go to advanced edit again. Again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so just wait a moment because uh, it takes some time. Okay, so this is a, uh, the advanced text editor. So the first thing we need to delete the text, select the track on the timeline and then press delete. And we want to add a shape, so a rectangular shape and we can click here as shape and select rectangular all right so now we have a rectangular here and we can resize it make it a little bit bigger okay so just click here and move it to this area yeah at the center now we want to delete the text let's press delete and also uncheck the text view and text borders we don't want to have a text here okay Text shadow, we can uncheck it also. Okay, for the shape fill, uh, I don't want to have the uh, the shape fill, so I'm going to uncheck it. For the shape border, I'm going to keep the shape border, and uh, we want to change the color to red. Let's click this button and select red. Okay, and click OK. And now I want to increase the size, maybe three or four. So size here, I want to have it four and enter so now we have a square uh, square sketch motion here and we uh, we want to use this uh, yellow dot to make it completely square okay so this is the, the first one and i think we can resize it to this side yeah maybe and now we need to add animation uh, to this box and to do that we can go to the animation tab here and find the animation for for your box i think you can choose any any of this animation by the way the one that i choose is this one the pinwheel so we have a, an animation here it is very beautiful right let's play it yeah and you can adjust the speed of the animation uh, with this slider you can click here select here and then if you want to make uh, the animation to happen faster, you can uh, just uh, slide this one to the left, and this it is disappear effect. And uh, let's see, very nice. 
OK and now we want to to click OK to go back to the timeline and finish the first one by the way I want to use this scan motion for my next project and uh, in the future project so I have to click here save as custom OK so I want to uh, name it square square one OK and we're going to click OK and that is for the square scape motion okay and click OK to go back to the timeline now we have this one uh, ready on the timeline uh, so let's play it okay now you can do the same to create the circle and the arrows okay so I'm going to uh, copy this one let's press ctrl C to copy and uh, I'm going to paste it right here and now I go to advanced edit again right click and go to advanced edit and I can delete this one and add another circle but I don't have to format it again because it's already format for me uh, I can click here and add a circle so now we have a circle here exactly the same the same with the rectangular is the same size the same borders and the same color okay and now we have uh, we don't have uh, of course we don't have animation and we need to select animation for this circle again we go to animation and maybe this one drop yeah I think it's nice uh, but the the disappear animation is a little bit too fast so it could be like this yeah and then I'm going to click OK now the next one I want to create an arrow so I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it here and go to advanced edit again and I want to delete this one and I want to add an arrow okay so yes yeah, just straight out the arrow and make it a little bit smaller and this one I can resize it and select an animation for it yeah something flying or uh, okay down okay I think this one this one look fine okay and I want to adjust the disappear effect to make it last a little bit longer and also save as custom okay I forgot to save the circle one so this is arrow arrow one and I'm going to click OK and OK and I want to save I want to save the the circle one also so I'm going to yeah do again I'm sorry save as custom and circle one okay and now I can click OK so these are the sketch motion callout that I have just created in you know, Wondershare Femora 10 so this is a circle uh, this is a rectangular and this is a circle and this is the, the arrows right and if you want to use it in your next project then you can just uh, yeah for example you can just find it in the custom folder when you save save some uh, title, you uh, you can find all of them at the custom folder here, right? Uh, I have some arrows, and we can double click to see the arrows, and double click to see the circle here, right? Uh, for example, if I want to to uh, to highlight something uh, in my video, okay? Uh, we can go to my media and then sample video. I want to just uh, put a sample video, uh, maybe this one, uh, the plating letting foot okay and this is a normal video mm, very nice so for example I want to uh, to highlight this one uh, peanut P peanut <laughs> I have no idea what kind of seed uh, is this okay so first one I want to action uh, tracking for this one so uh, I want to add uh, motion tracking here with this button okay and then adjust the position to this this seat yeah let's make it close okay and click here to start tracking yeah wait a moment because the program will track this point 3% Okay. Hmm. Then I'm going to click OK. 
So the next thing, I want to add a rect uh, rectangular or square scan motion at this point. Okay, so go back to my title again and find the custom and I'm going to use this one, the square one. Let's drag and drop it, put it right here. And now I can adjust the square. Okay, just a moment. Adjust the square to this side, this side of the seat. Okay, and now we want to add, activate the motion tracking for the square box here. And we are going to double click at this clip and select square one, and then click OK. And now I'm going to render the timeline so you can review it smoother. Okay. All right. So this is a this is a result with the the square box. Okay. Let's play the video. Square sketch motion. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So if you want to adjust the speed of the animation and adjust the duration of this sketch motion. You can just uh, extend, extend the duration on the timeline uh, like this. But remember, when you uh, extend the duration, the animation speed uh, will be slower. So if you, you extend it, okay, and you have to uh, go to advanced edit and adjust the animation again. Uh, for example, this one, I can go to advanced edit. And then I have to adjust the animation speed by this slider again like this yes okay and then I'm going to click OK all right and that is how you can create a scan motion callouts uh, using Wondershare Filmora 10 and if you want to uh, to download this project you can uh, go ahead to the link I put in the description I hope this video is helpful for you and if you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.